A mathematician by the name of Leonardo Pisano was born in Pisa, Italy from 1175 and died in 1250. In 1200, Bonacci spent part of his life in North Africa. He went from Italy to Algeria and all over in North Africa to Sicily and back home to Italy. With the knowledge he gained from traveling, Leonardo published Liber Abaci two years after his arrival back home. Leonardo found a math concept called the Fibonacci sequence when dealing with a problem that included rabbits. The problem went like this. Rabbits come in pairs. Once a pair has reached the age of two months, it bears one pair every month, starting with a newborn pair. At the beginning of every month, how many pairs of rabbits will there be at the end of the year? Starting with a newborn pair of rabbits, a month later they are of sexually maturity and reproduce another pair. Now there is an adult pair and a newborn pair. Another month has passed and the adult pair has reproduced again. And the first newborn's pair reproduced for the first time. Now there are three pairs. Another month has passed and the adult pair with the newborn pair has aged and reproduced three pairs while the other newborns had re reproduced making two more pairs making five altogether. This order keeps going on to make eight and thirteen and so on. With this, Leonardo had found the concept of the Fibonacci numbers. So now let's explore the Fibonacci numbers. If you don't already know the sequence, it starts with 1. The sequence goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, and so on. How this concept works is that to get the next number, you add the previous number before it. So for an example would be, how would you get 13? What you would do is add 5 plus 8 to get 13, and for the next number it would be 8 plus 13 to get 21. And that keeps repeating to an infinite number. The Fibonacci numbers also show up in the concept phi and the golden ratio. The Fibonacci sequence is also found in nature. It is found in a number of spirals on a pine cone. It is found in seashells. It is found in flowers and how many petals it will bear. It is also found in your thumbprint and even more. I hope this helped better understand your knowledge on the Fibonacci numbers.